Does uncontrolled snacking lead you to binges? Are you the type of person that as soon as it hits 12 p.m. you go into complete binge? Do you get lost what to eat and when to eat? Well, I'm going to give you my top tips to stop snacking. So guys, I see this all too much. I'm of course a qualified nutritionist and I deal with a lot of clients. And in consultations and when I first speak to these clients, I realize that their main downfall is snacking. So there's many reasons why people snack. Sometimes their meals aren't volume dense, sometimes they're not eating enough, or sometimes they just have the urge for sugar and they can't break those habits. There's so many different reasons why people snack. Don't worry, I've been in that position where I couldn't put down a block of chocolate. I've been in that position where I've had a bag of chips in my hand and I couldn't put it down either. Snacking is very common, so please, please, please don't think this is an uncommon issue. So that is why I'm going to give you some tips to help overcome snacking. When it comes to achieving your body composition, a lot of people can find that snacking can be their downfall. Let's think about it. If it hits 12 p.m. and you are in a complete all or nothing type snacking mode, you could easily eat about 2,000 calories in a block of chocolate and some chips. And that can completely undo your progress. So a lot of people under eat and that is why they snack. That is the most common issue I see. A lot of people who snack as well, I find they don't have enough carbs in their diet. So therefore they get those sugar cravings. So guys, carbs are not the enemy. I cannot reiterate that enough. Carbs are actually really good for you, especially if you train a lot as well. Carbs will give you energy and they will definitely help you overcome snacking. A lot of people skip breakfast too and I see this all too much. A lot of people intermittent fast and for me, I can't intermittent fast because as soon as it would get to 12 p.m., I'd go on a complete binge and eat whatever is in sight because I'm just such a hungry person. <laughs> and I love my food. Hey, I'm in a minute. Honesty is the best policy, right? But I can't intermittent fast, but a lot of people do. And they find that when they intermittent fast, obviously they have that bracket from 12 to 8 or 12 to 6 p.m. when they get to eat. And they all of a sudden eat all this food in sight. Now, not only is that not good for you, but it is easily going over your calories for the day. I see this a lot, and especially in a lot of clients as well. Snacking and uncontrolled snacking, a lot of people have that all or nothing approach, which is something that you need to overcome, especially when you want to reach your body composition goals. I cannot reiterate this enough. All or nothing approach is not going to get you anywhere. It means that if you have a piece of chocolate, let's say, you can't stop at one piece of chocolate. You're gonna go through the whole bar. Just really teaching yourself mentally and thinking about your goals is super important when it comes to the all or nothing approach too. I wanna give you guys some top tips of how not to snack. Eat volume dense meals and eat proper foods. So, you know, eating breakfast, eating lunch, eating dinner and having true healthy snacks. Make sure you are prepared. That is a very, very important tip that I cannot provide you with enough. Preparation is key. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. I always say that quote and I really believe in it too. Having your snacks on you, having your meals on you, it is so important in achieving your body composition because it steers you away from eating certain foods because you've already thought about what you're gonna eat. You've already planned out your calories for the day. You're already planning out your macros for the day. So you're looking at hitting them. Whereas if you don't have your meals on you, obviously you're gonna feel flustered, you're gonna feel a bit lost, and therefore you're gonna wanna snack and result in a binge as well. So your snacks aren't gonna be a piece of chocolate. Make sure they are wholesome foods. Make sure they are volume dense foods. As I said, Volume density is key when it comes to fat loss and so is protein. So opposed to having a protein bar or a packet of chips for a snack, make sure you have a protein smoothie, make some protein balls, have turkey and rice cakes, which is one of my favorite. What I always say to a lot of clients as well is plan out your meals, which you're gonna have out as well. You're gonna go out for lunch, look at the menu beforehand. There's no harm in that to make sure you do stay on track with your goals. Another top tip that I give to a lot of my clients is spreading your meals throughout the day. So making sure that you don't fast from breakfast to lunchtime or breakfast to dinner time, making sure that you have that meal frequency. Because if you have that meal frequency, you're less likely to snack and you're less likely to be overly hungry as well. So for me, I like to structure my day as breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. That's how I fit in with my lifestyle and it works easily for me. Next one I recommend to my clients is plan when you eat. 
For me, I like to eat every three to four hours because that's when I get hungry. If I'm not hungry, obviously I won't eat. But I always say, if you're the type of person who does snack, make sure you do plan ahead. Make sure you plan when you're gonna eat. I definitely recommend eating every three to four hours. Not only is that good for not snacking, but it also speeds up your metabolism as well. I did a YouTube video on this before. Obviously in turn, progresses fat loss too, builds lean muscle, and you get to eat more calories when you're sitting down. So speeding up metabolism is another benefit of frequency in eating. Another tip that I give to a lot of my clients as well is drinking plenty of fluids. So that comes to my next point when it says, am I hungry, am I bored? So you really need to think about, am I mindful eating or am I mindless eating? So they're two different things. So if I was to eat my dinner and I still feel a bit peckish after as soon as I ate my dinner, if I went to go and get, grab a packet of chips, that is mindless eating as opposed to mindful eating. If I ate my dinner, sat there for 10 minutes, I realized that it wasn't hunger, that it was just all in my head. Really making sure that if you are bored, go and do something. I always encourage my clients you know, if you feel like you're hungry, do something. If you like, if you feel like snacking, if you feel like having a packet of chips, do something. You know, distract yourself. I think that is a really, really good thing. I see a lot of my clients down for when it comes to 3, 4 p.m. and after dinner. They feel like they need to grab a bag of chips or they feel like they need to end their day with a block of chocolate. But I always say make sure you have a shower after dinner. You know, make sure that food processes and see how you feel after that. So really distracting yourself will overcome that snacking too. I always say as well, measure what you eat. Food scales and measuring what you eat is a complete game changer when it comes to body composition. I always see clients who first approach me who don't measure their food and who don't portion size. My best advice to them is to portion size, grab some scales, because as soon as they start doing that, they're realizing how much they're eating, they realize about portion control, they realize about calories, about macros, how much they're overeating as opposed to how much they're under eating. Portion control is a complete game changer, especially when it comes to snacking as well. If you wanna have a packet of chips, go for a packet of chips, but don't eat a whole big bag. Have about five or 10 chips, see how you feel. Portion controlling and really measuring what you eat is gonna be a complete game changer. And the last point I wanted to make as well, and you guys always know this because I always preach about it as well, is don't deny yourself. I believe so much in balance and I really find that through my past experiences that restrictiveness has lead to binges. And I've been in that position. I've been so restrictive that, you know, as soon as I get to have a night out or a dinner out, or as soon as I get to have some chocolate, I would binge out so much. And I've learned from my mistakes and that's why I wanna preach it to people that restrictiveness does lead to binges. If you are prone to binges, my best advice is to keep the food out of the house because if it's not there, what are you gonna go do? Get it at midnight or get it at 2 a.m.? No, you're not, you're just gonna go back to bed. But I always say restrictiveness does lead to binges. So if you want to have that piece of chocolate, have that piece of chocolate. If you want to have that piece of pizza, have that piece of pizza, but make sure you are consistent throughout the week. I cannot reiterate that enough. For me, I'm very consistent. I stick to my training. I stick to my meals. I don't really eat outside my meal plan Monday to Friday, but the weekends allow me a bit more leniency. They allow me some fun. They allow me a mental break as well. And that's what keeps my lifestyle so sustainable and maintainable. It's because I can do that and still have a smile on my face and not judge food anymore and have a really good relationship with food. Anyway guys, they are my top tips for snacking. I see this all too much and just remember that if you do snack a lot, try and control it because it could be the difference between you achieving your body compositions and you not achieving them. I am a qualified nutritionist and if you find my information very informative, make sure you do follow me on Instagram as well, Lara Lift to Lift because I do post a lot of content on there as well as some top tips to help you achieve your body composition goals. But if you need help, if you are sick of not seeing results, if you are asking after something that is sustainable and maintainable, make sure you do reach out to me. I do have a website too, laraguy.com, which you can register your interest. If you are interested in consults, meal plans, ultimate packages, and I'll get back to you. But if you're interested in joining my team, stop waiting, make sure you do it. I changed my life and I've never looked back. So join my team. Hope you learned a lot from those ones, guys. And if you have any requests as well, make sure you do comment them below and I'll be sure to filter through and see what my next YouTube video is gonna be. Anyway, guys, enjoy and I shall see you soon. Stay healthy, stay fit, and stay positive.